All right, so I went onto the internet and I searched for AZ900 and we've ended up on the learn.microsoft.com. The reason I want to show you this page is to uh, get more familiar with where we actually get the information um, so that you can uh, read up about, uh, about it if we didn't answer everything or if anything has changed. Um, but it's good, good, good to be familiar with these pages. So once you're here uh, on the AZ900, um, what they'll have down below here is the study guide. Now the study guide used to be in a PDF format and for whatever reason, Azure has just made it a website with all the other study guides here. I really don't like this format. Um, I find that it's very hard to find uh, information and to read it. I really prefer the old PDF, but that's never coming back. Or if it is, it's somewhere else and I don't know where it is. But what we can see over here um, is the actual breakdown. So we have cloud concepts. And so we think, see things like defining cloud computing, share responsibility model, the um, different uh, deployments of cloud um, and a bunch of other stuff here. Um, you can see describing the cloud service types. Now at one point they actually removed this and now it's back. So that's really interesting. I don't know why they ever removed it to begin with, but it's good to see that that is uh, returning. We have, uh, I call this global uh, infrastructure or uh, and uh, cloud networking. So they call this core architectural components, which I suppose some of these things are but uh, this is more like a billing thing and this is more global infrastructure. Then we have Azure Compute and Networking Services, so we're covering virtual machines, functions, scale sets, availability sets, uh, Azure Virtual Desktop. Now we don't have to do all these things um, and we aren't gonna do all these things because some of these things are really hard like Azure Virtual Desktop is not an easy task, but we need to know what they are. We are gonna launch a virtual machine uh, and, and uh, play around with that a little bit. We are gonna la launch an Azure function um, then we have storage services. So we, we do a lot with Azure uh, storage because it is uh, cheap and easy to use. Uh, then we need to know how to perform different operations with Azure, um, Azure storage there. Then we have Azure identity, access and security. So um, again, this is a subcategory under here or subdomain. So we need to know a bunch of things about security. I'm just gonna tell you that some of the content is gonna say Azure AD. Some of it's gonna say Microsoft Entre ID. Um, Microsoft, for some crazy reason, decided to change the name of Azure AD, even though everybody was fine with it. It confuses uh, myself and Baco and, and everyone else to this day. So just understand that some of it's Azure AD, some of it's Microsoft Entre ID, but this is, this is really what's gonna be going forward, okay? We have described cost management in Azure. So that, uh, that's TCO, so more pricing stuff here. Um, Azure Purview, Azure Policy. We have uh, the Azure Portal, which is just the platform which we use everything. Azure Arc, which uh, I guess it's okay to know. Uh, we actually do a lot of interesting coding here. So I show you how to do IAC with um, ARM templates and Azure Bicept and Terraform. Uh, so that stuff's fun there. We look at uh, monitoring tools. So we look at Azure Service Health, Azure Advisor, all sorts of fun stuff. Now there could be other stuff that appears exam that's uh, uh, not on here. And so we just do a very thorough job to show you uh, basically everything and just to kind of round out your knowledge. But again, it's very difficult to, um, to find uh, all the details like the time of the exam and the amount of questions. They really just, do not make this easily available here. If anyone finds it, please tell me because I sure can't find it. And uh, the only way I know is by sitting in the exam and I have to remember those details afterwards. They do show what kind of uh, changes that they make. Um, so they're always making teeny tiny changes, but try not to worry about that too much because we do ensure to include a lot of stuff here. And this exam is up to date and, 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 the fresh, and as fresh as it can be as of this recording. But you know, I find that even two years out, people are passing. Uh, like people are passing the the current exam with the old the old one, um, which is which is really interesting. So it just shows you that uh, not much changes on those exams. Okay, but anyway, that's that. Another thing I want to show you is the exam sam uh, sandbox. So this uh, emulates the Pearson View uh, kind of experience, and it'll just show you some of the question formats now. Uh, we are under here for the AZ900 and it might show us more exam types than what we'll actually see on the exam. So we'll go here, this just has 10 questions. It's gonna just show us all the types. So here we have multiple choice, then we have multiple select. I'm not looking at uh, what the correct answers are or reading any of it, I'm just showing you. Here, I believe that we drag these into these areas here. So that's this one. 
then this one is your answer area and you're bringing them over and then you're trying to uh, determine the order. So you're uh, changing the order here. Then this one's an answer area. So we go here and it's just an image and this is draggable. We have this one here. So we look at this graphic and we try to uh, match it based on this information. We read it very clearly. This one here, um, uh, what is this for? A uh, hot area. So hot area is you have a graphic very similar to that other one, but you click it and it's almost like you're kind of interacting with it, but you're not, it's just an image. Then we have a case study. So this is something that we absolutely, absolutely give you in our platform and you will not see this on your exam, but we give you this exam question type anyway, because it's super important uh, to get that kind of experience. You'll notice this one's a little bit more uh, uh, robust in terms of the information. And so there are other things. Um, yeah, another thing with case studies is when you do a case study, you basically get a series of questions around this case study, right? And it went to the next part. And it's kind of like a mini exam inside the mini exam. I'll show you case studies in another video. So I know I'm going really quick there, but uh, we'll come back to that. Then sometimes you have uh, these additional tabs. So this is kind of like a mini case study for just a particular question, but they might say, hey, uh, check out the exhibit and you have to look at the exhibit, come back and then answer the question. So there's that. And then sometimes there's multiple exhibits. So yeah, but uh, yeah, there you go. So that is the, um, the sandbox there. So hopefully that gives you a good idea. The price might vary based on where you live. So if we go to Canada, I'm not sure what the price is in Canada. We go here. And it still shows $199 USD. We go somewhere else. Does it ever show a different price? Sometimes it does. Okay. For some reason, Canada gets a bad price, but uh, some other places do a little bit better. So understand that that price is going to fluctuate based on where you live. Um, but yeah, hopefully that gives you an, an idea of the uh, exam. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay. Ciao.